Next, we would like to welcome our partner at the XDC Network, a tool to the stage to discuss how the XDC Network is the premier platform for RWA tokenization. Everybody give a hand up for a tool. Hello, good morning. So I'm Atul Khikre. I'm the co-founder of XDC Network. Um, here today at the Plug and Play Summit, uh, it's like a lot of memories coming back. Well, it all started with Bitcoin, I think, for all of us. So back in the valley, 2013, 14, um, I was helping an entrepreneur put together an exchange or something. And uh, I, he offered uh, bitcoins to me for payment. And then I accepted the first tranche. And it just seemed amazing how the money left one phone and entered another, right? Till that point of time, the innovation in technology in Web2, it had never happened that an information was actually lost from one phone or sent from one phone and appeared on another. And then the first phone did not have the ownership of it any longer. And that was the birth of tokenization. That was like the most amazing, like a Eureka moment for us to think of limitless possibilities that, com that could uh, you know, come forward as, as the future unfolds. So we set out with that vision, the enterprise settlement layer, effectively uh, tokenization would uh, take a center stage in not just the financial world, but uh, all other economic aspects of it. And this is where we really uh, got, got together. We are, we are entering into our ninth year now. We are a billion dollar plus uh, of market cap. So <clears throat> how does this all work? Like how does the vision unfold further from what Bitcoin did, right? So in the last 30 to 40 years, Internet has been pretty much the digital form of information that was made accessible via browsers or via mobile phones or via applications. But what we were really accessing was the information only, whether it was the information about certain products or the payments itself. The payments were not happening at the layer of application. They were happening below. What you were only receiving was the confirmation. And this is where I think everything changes going forward. The next 20, 30 years is going to be this whole innovation around internet, so the financial internet, in which what you can do is directly uh, access any kind of assets and payments between phones, between computers. And this is what is going to transform the whole economies of scale of what internet has brought us. I mean, simply explaining today, let's say I have like a $10 bill, right? And if I give it to one person, then I no longer have ownership of it. I pass that document to the person, he has taken it away, there's no central bank or anyone authenticating that transaction. There's only two of us. And imagine that happening in the digital world. Web2 wasn't doing it. The internet wasn't doing it. The internet was simply giving you the information uh, to show that it's done, but it was actually happening at layer below. And this is what I think is the biggest, biggest transformation uh, that we saw coming to put together the vision of XGC Network, that there would be an only layer of information, assets, and settlement that would actually happen on the machines themselves. And so in, in the design of how we build the XGC Network as the enterprise settlement layer, we made sure that we keep connecting uh, traditional systems or whichever interoperability medium that it needs to connect with. At the end user level, how would it work? It has to be simple enough, right? So internet has made us accustomed to all the mobile phones, Android platforms, applications, uh, Mac OS, browsers. That is how we interact with applications right now. And it would pretty much go on and do the same, except for the fact that the applications that are built on this settlement layer, the distributed settlement layer, would, would be called distributed applications because simply they're not running on one server. They're running on a consortium network 
or, or, a, or a trust network that is validating transactions by itself. It would run 24-7, so even if you're lo like on a Saturday or Sunday, you would still be able to transact large amount of transactions without bothering the banks. We'll wake up and effectively maybe do the settlement, but you can just continue to do your transactions as it, as it just happens. How would the end user really uh, access it? This is, this is one more uh, of the vision that firstly it has to be the customers or the consumers, how they would see all this unfolding. So being in the Bay Area, I thought I'll put something together like just more relevant uh, for here. Let's say there's a, there's a developer trying to put together a student housing project. And what happened before was uh, the, you went to the banks or you went to a few of the private equity investors, tried to put together uh, capital and build, the, and, and, and build the project, and then those handful of people or institutions made their money. Except that everything changes when it comes to the, the financial internet or, or, the, or the settlement layer in which you are able to create a digital, absolutely digital version, not the, at the information layer, but even at the property deed or property certificate layer, the ownership of the asset now goes on the phone, right? You are able to access it using a global payment and settlement. Like, I don't know how many of you know, uh, last week was one of the biggest IPOs that happened, Circle Internet Financial. So they're one of the biggest stablecoin issuers. And there's, as we speak, there's a, Stablecoin Act that's being passed, uh, I think. Um, so what it does basically, it lets you access or pay anywhere in the world within seconds. That was not happening in the, in the banking or financial world or SWIFT network. How do you risk mitigate? Are you going to, if, if someone is, let's say, defaulting on the project, how would you recover that money? So there's a concept of risk mitigation with better digital assets in our, in, in the case of XDC network, XDC is, is an asset. Uh, which, which acts like a bearer assets, and it would be accessible anywhere on the phone. Again, I put this together because here we are in the valley. I thought uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just give a couple of examples of things that are relevant here, but this is very much um, applicable to an agricultural produce financing or a container shipment or that's happening out of Africa or India or any other part of the world. The, the economies of scale once you build this build this standards are all practically infinite. Oh, this was, I, I stayed in the valley and I thought, uh, you know, Bart needed an upgrade, so I just thought I'll put it here that it could really, I stay in Dubai now and it's, it's like a different place. So I thought maybe uh, something like that can also happen on the, as RWO project, that you can actually set up the BART upgrade bonds and people could participate, at least I'll participate from all over the world, and then it could actually uh, transform or upgrade the experience for, for the end users. Again, something like wineries, you can, uh, you can tokenize them and, and be able to redeem them. So what, what are we really doing as a part of XDC network? Uh, what we're doing is building standards. We're building standards for the projects, for enterprise, for corporates, for governments to come together and work with us. These markets are pretty big. We don't want to develop solutions ourselves. What we have built is a very robust layer. Uh, so any kind of assets, whether these are trade related, yield generating, whether it's private credit, real estate, or anything at all, we are working with partners around the world and this, this is where uh, plug and play is one of the great partnerships for us. When it comes to payments, there are various possibilities you can, how you can use the network as a settlement layer just for messaging on confirmation for traditional payments, as well as, as, well as a bearer asset settlement or a regulated stable coin settlement or something that is cleared based on rules that, let's say I, I achieve something or I deliver something and I get the payment after that. It is all just a matter of few lines of code and how you can achieve it. On top of the standards, what really powers uh, the network? This is something we uh, designed ourselves. Bitcoin is, uh, I don't know how many people have actually transacted it, but it 
we thought when you know at the time it was really slow it was not something that could be used for mass adoption also because of the way it uses it consumes energy um, so at that time we thought that it would need uh, a huge innovation in terms of how uh, if you really want to enable the scale of real world economies on on the on the settlement layer it would need uh, an actual innovation from even those standards. So XDC, or you know, it came from Exchange Infinite Digital Coin, basically just shortened now to XDC for better branding and understanding. But it it, it basically we 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 rearchitected the at that time Ethereum had a proof of work consensus, but we rearchitected the consensus to uh, make it the XDC consensus, or which is now hot stuff delegated proof of stake and be able to achieve actual feasibility for real world competitive businesses to transact on it for applications for for developers for companies to actually work with it so this was like a real innovation that we put together in terms of consensus from where bitcoin or ethereum have evolved into xdc which is now targeting a very large market of real world assets and payments these are some of the current statistics. We entered uh, seventh year of the of the main network, which has been running 24/7 without any uh, you know major downtime. It's been probably like one hour in last last seven years. Uh, these are the statistics right now. The uh, market cap is a billion dollars plus. Uh, the the fully diluted market cap is about three billion dollars. We have one of the some of the largest global enterprises, banks, financial institutions already working with us, tokenizing private credit, real estate, treasury products, yield products, or money market products. This is all happening. So why, why are we here? You know, I mean, back in 2021 20, or 22, I think, I was thinking that we should open uh, an office here in the Valley. But then there are things that I reconnected uh, I knew about the first Bitcoin meetup that happened here in, in Plug and Play and, and Vitalik Buterin, who is co-founder of Ethereum, who was, I think, working with Plug and Play at that time for, for something. And uh, I just thought, why not work with someone who is really established here in the Valley and grow the ecosystem, right? So this is why I made my team members reach out to Plug and Play to find the best applications, to get the best funds, uh, to, to get family offices, venture capital, all on the network, all as a part of the, of the chain economy or the settlement layer economy that we are building. Plus, we have our own proprietary fund that invests in companies, so we have already written uh, around 40 to 50 checks for companies who are building various use cases and applications on, on, on the existing network. Uh, the settlement layer. We continue to work with governments, several governments in Africa, um, Australia, Japan. XDC is actually one of the approved payment uh, methods. Even in Indonesia, it is an approved payment method, or even in Philippines. So there's a lot that goes on, and we, we are we're truly working on this at a global scale. But Valley remains close to the heart. I think the best innovation will continue to work from here, and that's why I think we will uh, explore ways of further st uh, strengthening our partnership and growing the numbers. I think uh, the potential for what we're building, as we said, we are $1 billion plus in market cap. There's literally 100 times to 1,000 times of upside in terms of adoption curve. Like We are so early in the adoption curve in terms of where the real world asset tokenization or payments is 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 being accepted is like the early early days of amazon when it was not household but it was just building this massive infrastructure eventually they became household and today we are just dependent on it right so we are at that still a very very early stage of where we want to be and this is why this partnership is something that is very special to us and will continue to grow it If you want to contact, I don't want to take thunder away from all the cohorts or uh, all, the, all the projects from the cohorts that will be presenting hereafter. Uh, these are the projects that have that have been 
shortlisted together by the XDC network team and uh, plug and play, our great friends at plug and play to uh, really push forward the best experiences, the best the projects, the best applications, or the best assets on, on this settlement layer. So we have uh, XDC network, which is basically the, the network, the team that works behind running the network 24-7. Uh, it just runs without anyone's innovation, by the way. And then we have XDC Ventures, or XVC Tech, which is our proprietary fund put together by myself and uh, the, the other co-founder, Ritesh Kakkar, uh, whom we continue to invest in projects to grow the ecosystem together. So we are looking forward to working with venture builders, corporates. Look, this is the future. There was a time when there was a little bit of regulatory uncertainty around the space, but I think it's all going mainstream, and there is, it's going to be part of everyone's you know, mobile phones, handhelds, uh, browsers, the way you're going to access assets, or you're going to buy your cars, you're going to buy your houses, do mortgages, or do payments globally when you're going to travel, how you're going to uh, make the payment in other parts of the world in other currencies. Everything that we're doing, how do you access stock markets, how you access money market products, all the experiences are going to transform. So uh, come and join this journey with us. This is just not uh, here, but our entire uh, team partnership team at Plug and Play is, is someone that uh, will be working closely so you can contact them as well. Thank you so much.